Today's reading with Noni and Ruby the Rabbit is Giraffes Can't Dance, written by Giles, Andrea, and Guy Parker Reese. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled them at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and plant. The warthogs started watching, and the rhinos rock and roll. The lion stands a tango that was elegant and bold. The chips all did a cha-cha with a very lantern feel, and eight Baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lion saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at, at clumsy Gerald. The animals all sneered. Gerald can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooting to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, scoffed a cricket, who seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swinging grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music in those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. The, then Gerald felt his body doing the most amazing thing. His hoof had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. He threw his legs out sideways and the swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leaped up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes I'm dancing, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while 
Gerald boogied on and watched him quite energized. They sh shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald, the best dancer that we ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. He raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above we can all dance he said when we find music that we love <music>